It's a momentous time for Afghanistan. Many still in disbelief that what had been unthinkable is happening. The U.S. and the Taliban agreeing with each other. Mohammed Aziz is upbeat. This has been the most peaceful week Kabul has seen in years. Uh, we can go out of uh, our homes uh, without any uh, fear of anything. So it's been a good week? Yeah. The agreement is between the American and Taliban. But it will be a uh, that, uh, that will be have lots of effects uh, on Afghan people because the security of Afghanistan is in the hand of the Americans. But outside of Kabul in Jabal Siraj, Shukr Muhammad wonders about his future. He has mixed feelings. The Taliban ruled here before, so he knows them well. It's bad. If the Taliban come back, I won't be able to run my business. They forbid music. I will have to leave the country. For the past 40 years, foreigners didn't let us live in peace. That's why the country is in this situation. It's maybe better if they leave. But there will be no peace with the Taliban. It will be worse. I'm scared. The war has been devastating for Bibi Gul. Her husband, a soldier in the National Army, was killed in a suicide attack in her home province of Laghman. Then another four members of her family died in another attack. Being a widow with seven children is tough. They help out by polishing shoes on the streets or begging in the market. We've never had any help from anyone. It's a miserable life. My sons collect trash so we can burn it in the stove. The foreigners must stay. I haven't seen anything good from the government. And the Taliban destroyed our lives. It's because of them that we became beggars. It's humiliating. Only the foreigners can help us. The Taliban controls nearly half of the country mainly rural areas where most of the war against American troops unfolded. People have been told that they will fully withdraw soon, and there's a sense of victory. People are happy. We also want peace and security. Taliban are committed to their promise. The fighters obey whatever orders they get. This is a big success for us. Back in the city, Zainab Mayer is worried. She was born as a refugee in Iran. Now she's a university student, part of a new generation full of aspirations. Everybody knows that Taliban's, their ideas, like how limited and close-minded they are. And if they come to the government, like officially, they can implement their limitations. Officially, they can implement, and the people they will be hurt is the women, because Taliban are never good with women. I don't know. <laughs> The people working in the government or officials, they do not have peace between themselves. And I don't think if they're going to have peace with someone else like Taliban. If all goes well, the U.S. will pull out its troops. The Taliban and Afghan leaders might find a compromise. But many Afghans remain cautious about the future. They've seen many false dawns before.